हेलो डिओ स्टुडंट्स इन प्रिवियस क्लास वी ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट हिस्ट्री ऑफ एनिमल क्लासिफिकेशन एंड डिफरंट क्राइटेरिया ऑफ एनिमल क्लासिफिकेशन इन दिस क्लास वी हैव टू लर्न अबाउट द डिफरंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ डिफरेंट फाइल नम्स एंड ऑल अबाउट सब किंगडम नॉन कॉर्डेट्स so in kingdom animalia there are two sub kingdoms that is non chordates and chordates out of them you have to study here the sub kingdom non chordates sub kingdom non chordates having 10 phylums that is protozoa porifera cilentrata that is nidaria platelmintis askelmintis एनिलीडा ऑर्थ्रोपोडा मोल्युस्का इकाइनोडर्माटा एंड हेमिकॉर्डटा सो यू हैव टू स्टडी द डिफरंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द एनिमल्स व्हिच आर दोज इन दिस डिफरेंट फाइलम्स फर्स्ट वी विल सी अबाउट फाइलम पोरीफेरा these animals are with simplest body plane and are called as sponges they bear numerous pores on their body those pores are called as ostia and oscula these are aquatic animals most of them are marine and few are freshwater dwellers most of the animals have a symmetrical body these animals have special types of cells those are collar cells these animals are always attached to substratum hence do not show locomotion hence they are referred as sedimentary animals their spongy body is supported by spicules or spongin fibers spicules are made up of made up of calcium carbonate or silica these animals feed upon small organisms taken in their body along with water water is taken in through ostia and given out through oscula these animals are reproduced by budding an asexual method and or by sexual method besides they have good ability of regeneration some examples of this porifera that is cycon u spongia that is bath sponge hylonema eucleptela these are the some examples of animals which are present in this porifera phylum we'll see these are that is figure of this spongilla or cycon sponge the next phylum cilentrata or nidaria the characteristics of these nidaria body of these animals is cylindrical or umbrella like if it is cylindrical it is called as polyp and if it is umbrella like it is called as medusa most of these animals are marine only few are freshwater dwellers body of these animals is radially symmetrical and diploblastic nidoblast bearing tentacles are present around the mouth tentacles are useful for capturing the prey whereas nidoblast injects the toxin in the body of prey 
दोज आर यूजफुल फॉर प्रोटेक्शन टू Hydra Admasia that is sea anemone Phaselia that is Portuguese man of war Aurelia that is jellyfish corals these are the some examples of animals which are present in this phylum Coelentrata you will see here Hydra coral and see a name on then final phylum platyhelminthes body of these animals is slender and flat like a leaf or strip hence they are called as flat worms most of these animals are endo parasites few are free living and aquatic body is a silomate and bilaterally symmetrical these are triploblastic that is their body is made up of three germless that is endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm these animals are hermaphrodite that is male and female reproductive systems are present in the same animal body examples of animals which are present in this platyhelminthes are that is liver fluke you will see here and tapeworm planaria etc these are the some examples of animals which are present in this platyhelminthes phylum askelminthes body of these animals is long thread like or cylindrical hence they are called as a round worm these animals are either free living or endo para parasites free living animals are either aquatic or terrestrial body of these animals are made up of three layers that is triploblastic and pseudo silomate body of these animals body of these animals is non segmented and covered with tough cuticle these animals are unisexual escaris that is intestinal worm pilarial worm lolo that is eye worms are the examples of these escalmentis you see here the escaris that is male escaris and female escaris phylum annelida body of these animals is long cylindrical and metamerically segmented most of the animals are free living but few are ectoparasites free living animals may be marine or freshwater dwellers or terrestrial these animals are triploblastic bilaterally symmetrical and eucilomate they have seed or parapodia or circus for locomotion their body is covered with special cuticle these animals are either hermaphrodite or unisexual 
examples earthworm leech nerys etc these are the some examples belongs to annelida you see here some examples of phylum annelida that is earthworm leech nerys then phylum arthropoda these animals have jointed appendages hence they are called as arthropoda planet earth has highest number of animals from this phylum hence this is largest phylum with highly successful animals in animal kingdom these animals are found in all type of habitats ranging from deepest ocean to highest mountains body of these animals is triploblastic ucelomate bilateral bilaterally symmetrical and segmented chitinous exoskeleton is present around their body these animals are unisexual some examples belongs to this phylum is crab spider scorpion millipede centipede cockroach butterfly honey bee you will see here some examples those are cockroach butterfly centipede and scorpion so these are the some examples belongs to this arthropoda then phylum mollusca body of these animals is soft and slimy hence they are referred as mollusk this is second largest phylum in animal kingdom these animals are aquatic or terrestrial most of the aquatic mollusks are marine but few are freshwater dwellers too body of these animals is triploblastic ucelomate non segmented and soft Ex except animals like snail their body shows bilateral symmetry their body is divided into three divisions like head food and visceral mass the visceral mass is covered with mantle this mantle secretes a hard calcareous shell this shell may be external or internal or even absent in some cases these animals are unisexual so these are the different characteristics of molluscans examples bivalve snail octopus etc animals belongs to this phylum you will see here there is octopus bivalve snail so these are the some examples of molluscans then phylum echinodermata calcareous spines are present on the body of these animals hence they are called as echinoderms these animals are found only in ocean their body is triploblastic ucelomate and it is radially symmetrical in adult stage however they show bilateral symmetry in larval stage they perform locomotion with the help of two feet two feet are also useful for capturing the prey some animals are sedimentary
sedentary they have skeleton made up of calcareous spines or ossils that is plates these animals have good ability of regeneration these animals are mostly unisexual starfish sea urchin brittle star sea cucumber these are the some examples of echinodermata we we'll see here animals in phylum echinodermata that is starfish sea cucumber sea urchin then phylum hemichordata body of these animals is divided into three parts as proboscis collar and trunk notochord is present in proboscis region hence they are called as hemichordates these animals are also called as acorn worm these are marine animals live in burrows in sand they have one to many pharyngeal gill slits they are unisexual or some may be hermaphrodite examples of hemichordates are balanoglossus sacoglossus etc so these are the different phylums of subkingdom non chordates dear students we have to read the lesson which is in textbooks and observe the these animals around you and then we have to remember the different characteristics of those animals also you have to solve the exercise of this lesson and if you have any doubts of these scientific terms you have to call me on phone or chat on whatsapp or other social media thank you hello dear students in previous class 